battery and energy storage technology development here at Ford. It goes back all the way to the days of Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. Hi, I'm Ted Miller of Ford Motor Company. Today we're in our research and innovation center in our battery test laboratory. A couple of key efforts that we have underway today and with our research partner, Samsung, one is a dual battery system. That battery system is something we hope to employ in production in the fairly near term. That's a key component in our auto start, start technology. And the other is going to be a longer term effort to develop a full replacement for lead acid batteries, that being an advanced lithium ion battery. Samsung's entrance into the lithium ion battery business started with consumer applications, cell phones and laptops. There's a significant convergence between consumer products and automotive applications. So when we think about really moving to the future, much lighter weight vehicles, very, very high fuel efficiency, we have to think about every possible weight savings. One of the key weight savings might be to replace that battery with a much lighter weight version. In the near term, we need to supplement that technology and supplement those great starting characteristics and great low temperature performance, but by also including regenerative braking capture. Lithium ion can quickly recharge and discharge better than lead acid can. So we could take advantage of brake recuperation. And in the very long term, we'd like to have a single battery solution, which would do all of these functions. Provide starting energy, a buffer, as well as providing this regen capture. It's all part of our blueprint for sustainability and our path forward.